Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about how to build the Spring REST CRUD application using MongoDB. So in this session I'm going to talk about the Get API. I've already created few subscribers in the Mongo database. So using Spring Boot application we are going to retrieve this using Get API. So let's see the code example now. So Robo3T is the MongoDB client. So I've connected to my Mongo database. So here you can see I've already created four subscribers in the subscribers collection you can see there are four documents so we are going to retrieve these documents using get api in spring boot application so in order to retrieve the subscribers from the database i have introduced a mapping method called get mapping so before the get mapping we use a request mapping with the get method in spring 4.3 they introduced a shortcut actually this is a shortcut or an allies for request mapping so let's see inside this get mapping you can see request mapping method request method get so this is the one we were using earlier but now they introduced a shortcut in print 4.3 where i can provide the uri in the value and it produces application json because we require the json as the output so when we call the subscribers get method so we're going to use subscriber repository and call find all the subscriber repository as you all know it's extending from mongo repository meaning spring data will implement all the basic functions for us i don't have to write any queries for it so that's the benefit of using spring data you can see here we are going to use all the basic methods which were implemented by spring data so this find all will provide the list of subscribers which is a model class you can see there is a model package which will represent our domain and here it will be converted into dto data transfer object so we're going to use model mapper here you can see that we're going to use model mapper to convert this model class into the dto class so you can see these are the attributes these four attributes will be mapped automatically to the dto so this is how we can retrieve our subscribers from the database using get method so now i'm going to use the postman as a client for our application and call get method and this is the uri so get subscribers so when i click on the send button we're going to get all the subscribers from the database so using spring application from the mongodb we are using get api to get all these values hope this small information is helpful all the best for your career please subscribe to interview.channel thank you